everyone, it's Darlene here and today I'm going to be doing a foundation review and then I'm going to show you how I apply the rest of my makeup. But this is the foundation that I am going to be reviewing. It's called Fora and it is um, sold on Amazon. I will actually put the seller and everything that I use in this description box down below. It retails for $6.99, which I'm going to say all this later on in the video but it's a really good foundation. So if you'd like to see this video, just keep watching. So this is the foundation. The name is Fora, and I got the shade 104 Buff Beige, and it says it's a soft matte finish liquid foundation. And you can get this off Amazon, and it retails for $6.99, which is a really good price. It, like a little goes a long way, and it is 0.1 fluid ounce which is about average for a foundation so i'm just going to put like literally just these little like that's not even like a half a pump i'm just going to start out with that because a little goes a really long ways with this foundation so you can see it yeah, got some really really good coverage And as you can see, that's just like one side of my face. It's really, really good coverage for six bucks. I think this is a great foundation. I do suggest you set it because like I have really oily skin. Well, it's combination. Like sometimes it's dry and sometimes it's oily and then some spots get oily. So I would say more combination than oily. Um, but for the most part, I get really oily in my T-zone. And like on my um, like my nose and stuff gets really oily. So if I do not set this, this just like sits on top of my skin, and it will slide off. So I've noticed that it does work better setting it. Can I get it on my neck? And it's actually a really really good color match for me. And this is the buff beige. So. So that is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and so you can see it is so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and um, set my foundation. Just make sure that it's all really well. I mean, that is so pretty. I'm just going to use my Cody Airspun since this is a more affordable look that I'm doing. Um, I don't even feel like I need to put concealer on because it's just like such good coverage. Like to me, I don't think I need concealer. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to put a little bit and I'm going to just pat this into my skin just to really set this foundation. The coverage actually reminds me like like a, a MAC foundation or something. It's just like such good coverage for the price. Like I'm blown away. I would prefer this over most drugstore foundations. Um, just really setting it. And now just to show you what it looks like with it all finished, I'm gonna go ahead and contour and I'm just going to use my Park Avenue palette by Tarte. And I always go with um, Princess Cut. Um, yeah, Princess Cut and Angle. I just kind of mix them. Ooh, that's kind of a little dark, but it's okay. That's why you blend. Now 
I don't want to go too low with this just because I don't want it to get on my shirt since I'm wearing a white shirt today. Okay, and just to kind of make everything go together, I always put this in the crease. The bronzer that I use, I usually use that as my transition shade just because it makes the look really come together. And sometimes I'll actually only wear like a transition shade for my eyeshadow look because that's really all you need. You just want something like really minimal which is me a lot. Okay, and then I'm going to use Enhance. I'm just gonna put this like right here on the inner corner. Just kind of brighten up my eye. As you can see the difference, it really helps to brighten up the eye. And I just blend a little bit right on top of that. And put a little bit more right there. Just kind of open it up a little more. Okay. And now I need blush. And for my blush, of course, I'm going to use my Copper Tone by MAC. My favorite blush, especially like summertime. I don't know. I think all year round this blush looks amazing. And I do kind of get the leftover and I kind of put it on the forehead just to make kind of everything blend together really well. I don't know what is up, but like BoxyCharm has been slack a lacking. Like this last year, they've just gotten so bad. Like my, I usually have my um, box in by the 10th. That's like how it used to, like I've been a charmer for like six years now if not longer and I would always get it like around the 5th and here lately I've been getting it like the 20th and stuff. I'm like that is like super late. I don't know what's been going on and it's and it was before COVID-19 so I know that's not the issue. It's just like their customer service is getting worse. Like I get damaged products and I like reach out to them and they used to like you know, if you had a damaged product, they would send you a new one or, like, reimburse you for it. But, like, they're, they'll they tell me, like, they're out of stock. They'll let me know. But then they never do. And then it's just, like, so I'm out of products that were in the box. So I don't know what's been going on with them here lately. I've been getting, like, repeat items that I've already gotten before. And it's just, like, you know, I... I mean, I don't want to complain, but it's just like, you know, I would like to try new stuff. That's the whole point of getting it. So I've just been a little disappointed with them lately. I just, I want to try new stuff. That's the whole point of getting the thing. And they have so many products that I've never tried, but then they send me ones that I've already tried before. It's like, what's going on, BoxyCharm? So yeah, normally I would have received my box today, but I haven't even got the email that they're shipping it off, so I don't know when I'm going to be getting it. It's a little frustrating, because I enjoy doing my boxy charm unboxing for you guys. I love this mascara they sent me, though. They sent me this a while back. I just barely opened it, but I already buy this, so it's the It Cosmetics um, Superhero Mascara. This mascara is uh, the best. I love this stuff. I think I need to put some bottom mascara on because I look kind of weird. Very open-eyed, but kind of weird at the same time. So I'm just getting all the extra off. That looks a little better. So 
Okay, so that's what that looks like so far. Really pretty. I'm not finished with the eyes yet. Um, I want to put it at a little more. Let's go ahead and add the highlight stick just because I know a lot of you guys received this. And this is by Hourglass and I got Rose Gold Flash. Kind of goes flash, you know. Why not? Okay, just put this and I'm going to get my little blender. Just kind of blend it in. Again. Pretty. It's a really pretty highlight. I'm like using the wrong brush anyway. Just kind of go over the with my brush blush brush. It's so hard to say, I don't know why. Um, just kind of Blend it in, and I put it right over my lips. Give it that shine. I'm gonna take my little pointy brush. I'm gonna put it on my brow bone. really opening up the eyes and then I'm going to use my Morphe 506 brush which is just like a little blending brush and I'm going to take from this palette the Cali chick palette I'm going to take this bottom shade right here and it's just gonna help open up my eyes a little more I'm gonna put it on my bottom lash line just like halfway in See how it like really opened up my eyes. Oh, it's so pretty. I've been really liking this palette a lot. I'm gonna actually take that same shade and I'm going to take a fluffy brush if I can find it. It's gonna take a fluffy brush and this is the, I don't know. It's a Sigma brush, but I don't know which one it is because it rubbed off. I'm just gonna put this like just up here. Just kind of open up that even a little more. Just cause the shade's a little darker. But I'm not gonna bring it all the way in. Just like so. See how much prettier that looks? Like this side compared to this side. It just opens it up even a little more. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's really anything else that I need other than my lips. For my lips, I'll go ahead and use this Too Faced shade in Crazy Rich. I don't think it has a number. It does not have a number, just Crazy Rich. It's really pink. really pretty mm. and that completes this look I'm gonna go ahead and set everything just to make it coexist kind of melt into my skin Whew. my face is a little wet go ahead and let it dry a little bit Whew. okay so this is the completed look. I really like this foundation. Like this is without any concealer. Like so if I was to put concealer on I'd look a little more brighter. But I didn't feel like I really needed it. Just because it looks so pretty as is. And I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. Like I mean not a ton for me. <laughs> Maybe this is a lot of makeup for most people. But I really really do like this foundation. For $6.99, that's a pretty good deal. Like, a little goes a long way. Yesterday, I put, like, two pumps, and it was, like, 
my husband's like, you are wearing a lot of makeup. I'm like, no, it's just the foundation. I put a little bit too much in it. Like it is coverage. And if you put too much, it's too much coverage. It's that thick. But I really, really would highly recommend this if you're looking for a foundation that's really full coverage. It's not the longest lasting, but it's not bad. It's like about average for most like drugstore foundations. The only one that I absolutely love foundation, even on high end foundations, like to me, this one works better than the Becca one. This one lasts a lot longer than that one. And that one's like $45. The only one foundation that I've ever tried that I absolutely love it's $45 and it is the Estee Lauder double, double wear. That one just looks like your skin and it lasts all day. It's waterproof. It's just that makeup is amazing. But like for seven bucks, I mean, this is a really good foundation. And like I said, it works better than a lot of my higher end foundations. It, if you set it and you powder your face throughout the day, this thing would last you all day. I'm just lazy and I never powder my face. So that being said, that completes this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and hit the notification bell down in the corner below so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. I'm hoping whenever I get my BoxyCharm, you know I'll do my BoxyCharm unboxing this month. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. God bless.